What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing some goodies for the 1971 240Z. Here I have a coilover kit from Silvermine Motors. The coilover kit it has 32-way adjustable monotube shocks. It, you can adjust the ride height uh, as low as 1 to 3 inches. It has adjustable spring preload. It also has these camber plates right here that you can adjust back and forth and this is the shock this is how you uh, you just turn it this way for soft and this way for hard like that we also have the adjustable lower control arms and the also the adjustable tension control rods the tension control rods will allow me to adjust the caster on the car and also the lower control arms are going to allow me to adjust the track width of the car and also the camber. Prince the producer. beefier and they're fully adjustable so now I'll be able to adjust the track width also the camber and with the TC rods I'll be able to adjust the caster and the bump steer spacers are in the middle and that's for lowered cars if you're gonna lower more than one inch you should have those to correct the angle of the lower control arm on a lowered Z that's probably because your geometry is off so the bump steer spacers are gonna fix that I'm currently having that same jerky feeling so I'm gonna install these bump steer spacers and you know won't have that problem anymore got the modified knuckles welded and now everything's just gonna be reinstalled I needed to get some extended bolts that will go through the ball joint uh, through the lower control arm. Since these lower control arms are just so beefy and thick compared to the stock ones, I had to get these longer extended bolts. As you can see, they get about one inch shorter and they get 1.5 inches longer than the stock lower control arm. They get 1.5 inches longer than stock. So I've got the coilovers installed and I'm making a little camber adjustment. So this is how it looks. Basically I drop down this top hat area and now I can access these and tighten it to you know change the camber. Off. We're about to cut off the shock tubes and install the coilovers. 
So we're able to cut the shock tube off without taking off the axle. As you can see, we're cutting the shock tubes at two inches, maximum two and one quarter inches. Okay, so we're all done installing the coilovers. Everything was super easy, even easier than the front. You can see where we cut and weld it right there. Control arms and camber plates. Went to the, get the alignment, have 1.5 degrees of negative camber all, of, all four corners. Car handles amazing. I got the ride height where I like it so it never bottoms out or then it never hits anything. And yeah, the car is really, really handling a lot better. So smooth. Right now I have it on the smoothest setting. I think just five clicks from the softest in the rear and same thing for the front. And it's the best feeling suspension I've ever had on any of my six S30s. Prior to this I had the Eibach lowering springs with Tokiko HP suspension shocks 
and it was really bad. The, the front was always, the, the springs were binding and uh, the rear would always bottom out. So this coilover kit feels stiff but smooth and hugs the corners amazing. So happy with it. Also want to give a quick shout out to the local firemen and Department of Transportation. These roads were all recently on fire and uh, you know the Woosley fire spread burnt almost a hundred thousand acres of land and just about a week later all the roads are reopened all the rocks are moved to the side of the road so thank you guys really appreciate you making my area beautiful even though it's all burnt it's still beautiful <laughs>